now coming back to the new topic overfitting and underfitting the name itself indicate that overfitting means having the excessive data and the underfitting having the lesser data so while getting the various amount of results what is overfitting and what is underfitting we will consider it so before going to this we will understand this flow chart now here this was this one is the flow chart here we can see there is a, in the left side model is transformed or it may related to performed well on test set if it is yes that is a good model if it is a no performed well on training set if it is a yes it's a overfitting and if it is a no that is underfitting now what are the conditions to checking the fitting the uh, overfitting and underfitting first one is the perform if if the data sets if the results are performed in very well in test sets that one is a good model if it is performed on training set that is a this second condition and if it is not performed on training set that is a different conditions so if it is performed well on test set that is a good model if it is performed on training set that is overfitting and if it is not performed in training set that is underfitting now we will come to the what is a underfitting what is a overfitting first of all go to the ppt underfitting the model trained with the less number of features and data points this is called underfitting can neither model training data or not generalized to new data overfitting model trained with excessive number of features and data points model gets trained by redundant data and unwanted noise wait just a minute now in the figure we can see that uh, x and y in the first figure these are the data plotting with respect to given in samples the blue points indicate the samples the orange line indicates that the true function and the blue straight line or the blue la- blue color line is indicate model now here we can see this is if the straight line and the orange line curve is passes or crosses over two times over the models that is a true functions with the help of the samples this is called what you call this is called underfitting okay and this is called under the next one indicate that the model and true functions and samples are over on the same line is called a uh, good model and the last one is where the model and the true functions and samples are not correlate to each other or they don't have the consisting value or to each other this is called underfitting or overfitting overfitting this is called okay this is how the underfitting and overfitting are occurred generally in shorter way i will tell you that good model is nothing but they are overlapping each other and the sample value uh, will be nearest to the overlap curves this is called a best model the underfitting model means they have less number of samples to nearest to each other but having a uh, lot of distance and the last one is a uh, overfitting the overfitting will have lot of distance or lot of points are near and lot of noise are created this is called overfitting now coming back to the next slide 
कर्स ऑफ डायमेंशलिटी वॉट इज कर्स ऑफ डायमेंशलिटी कर्स वर्ड्स इट सेल्फ इंडिकेट दैट दैट इज मीन्स इट्स अ कर्स ऑफ डायमेंशलिटी कंसिडर देर इज अ थ्री फैन इन अ सिंगल रो एंड दे ओवरलैप इच अदर बाय सीन इन आवर डायरेक्शंस now if the all three fans are rotate each other and the single column will be steady what we what we will be see we will see only one fan with along of lot of fan fins so actually there are three fans but the as per the dimensions there is a one column only but multiple fins so physically this is not possible so this is called curse of dimensionality so from the ppt in low dimensional space data may seems very similar by but the higher dimension the future this data point may seems to be like this way i mean the curse of dimensionality is statistical approach type curse of dimensionality problem arising when ml model is confronted with the tons of feature and data points associated dimension refers to number of features variables attributes this is how the curve is plotted in the curve of dimensionality table number of features versus classify performance and the dimensionality number of features this is how it can be plotted with the help of the points now for example you can see there are a lot of puppies seated on the uh, ground now all this puppy are separated from each other and all of the puppies in the rhombus cube faced or seated along the side wise what you will see the three puppies on the xy plane two puppies on uh, minus xy plane or on the right side three puppies left side two puppies on the top or side two puppies this is the example of the curse of dimensionality if you rotate the cube what will happen you will see only that face puppies but other two puppies are still there na other puppies are still there so the, it will cut the puppies along the edges of that cubes so this is how the curves of dimensionality occurs in various example so what will we conclude of this examples by increasing by increasing number of features the data density decreases the complexity increases and thus the difficulty of machine learning model to work efficiently it will uh, get what we call difficult to machine learn model if available training training data set is fixed then overfitting occurs if we keep adding dimensions if we keep addition dimension amount of training data needs to grow exponentially fast to maintain the same coverage and avoid overfitting now in the previous slide the curse of dimensionality can be dealt with the implementing feature selection or extraction that will come to know feature selection extraction will be com- coming to the next topics now the machine learning model as a good features you provide